all right here's my problem child <laughs> a 2005 Buick LaCrosse uh, a lot of you know I put a lot of work into this thing I've, I've done all kinds of stuff to it then the car is completely done of course other than cleaning it up now I don't think I'm gonna do any kind of deep detail on this thing I think I'm just gonna you know clean it up uh, I'll snow foam it, hand wash it, might clay bar it, and I'll wipe down the interior and vacuum. And that's probably going to be about all, all I do to it. It's a $2,500 car, guys. I mean, it's, you know, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time or money on it. So, well, I've already spent a bunch of time and money on it. But, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get this thing cleaned up. Actually... I'm just going to go ahead and make this the last video of this car. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm, I'm tired of working on it. I've done enough to it. But, I mean, it's right now. There's nothing else wrong with the car. In fact, my wife, we had to put a clutch in her car. And her car was down for about a week. And she drove this the entire time. Um, I have drove this thing out of town myself a couple times and uh it, it's actually a good car now uh you know with all the work done to it it's uh you know probably one of the best cars you can get for 2500 bucks i would think and we'll see how people feel about it when i get it listed um also the pontiac sunfire that you've seen here i was talking about you know i was gonna either fix it or you know if somebody came along that wanted it i'd go ahead and sell it the way it was well somebody came along so the the pontiac sunfire is gone uh started back working on the nissan pickup truck and uh you know somebody came along while i was working on it so i didn't get to 100 percent finish it either um so it's gone so those two are gone um fixing to put this one up and um i'm gonna go ahead and put up the little neon uh as well and I'm going to just put it up for what I want for it. And it's either going to sell for what I want for it or it's not. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to do something with it. But let's get back to cleaning this Buick up. I mean, she's... Let's, you want to do one of them dramatic walk arounds? Those detail guys do? Now I'm not going to put the time and effort to... to those serious detailers put into the cars they do because it like i say it just ain't worth it but look at the filth on this car now there's certainly no way i'm selling this thing like this so we are we are going to do something with it we're going to make it look a whole heck of a lot better than this we're not gonna go overboard with it. All right, stay tuned. I just wanted to show y'all what a difference just a pressure washer makes. <laughs> I did the deck lid, rear bumper, and just a line down that quarter panel. I mean, is that just amazing or what? That's it. just a just a pressure washer. So, uh, one thing I do want to show you though is we got sap all over this car we're gonna have to get that off so gonna have to do a little bit more than i wanted to do but that's all right i'll show you how i get it off all right here she is during her snow snow foam bath all pressure washed up letting the snow foam sit for a minute I don't guess you can see, and it's, it don't look like it's showing up in the video, but there's all kinds of dirt coming off of that thing. And I tell you, one of the one of the good things about buying a dirty car is you know you can make it look better easily. One of the bad things about buying a dirty car is dirt hides a lot of stuff. Now, I knew this body was bad. I knew there was some 
scuffs and stuff that I needed to work with but uh, I don't even have this thing quote unquote clean yet and uh, there's there's a lot more paint problems than I had previously expected so gonna have to see what we do with that okay here's the car after a snow foam and a hand wash definitely huge difference however it's not good enough this sap is ridiculous of course i already knew i was going to have to take his sap off but there's a bunch of other places in the car uh that I'm going to at least try a little bit to work with. Might not be able to do anything with it, but I just, I want to get it looking better anyway. I mean, that looks a hundred times better than it did. I'm going to see what else I can do with it. All right, the big reveal. And like I said, I was just cleaning it up. No serious detail. I had to get a little more serious than I wanted to because of a lot of the scuff marks and uh, tree sap. Look at that front corner right there. And go back in the video and look at what it looked like before. I mean, not just this front clip, the whole car, but I mean, this thing is so much cleaner. I mean, this, this actually looks like a nice car now. Now, I did not wax it, buff it, clay bar it, any of that. Look at there. Got all, well, not all of it, but almost all of that stuff off of that corner. I couldn't get any of, well, I got a little bit of that off. But, I don't know guys, what do you think? I mean, it looks a million times better than it did before, that's for sure. We got all the glass done, wheels, tires. I'm still going to put some tire dressing on there. I didn't dress the tires yet. So, I'm still going to do that. And, uh, then I'm going to wipe the interior down. I'm not going to get too serious with it, but... There she is, guys. She looks great. Now she's ready for sale. All right, you know what time it is. If y'all would, please like this video. It, all it does is tells YouTube that, you know, they should show it to more people. It just helps our channel a lot um, in that respect. It doesn't do anything else. If you would, consider subscribing to this channel if you think we'll have any kind of information that you'd like to see in the future. That also helps us rank higher with YouTube and, uh, you know, grows the channel. And we have more people to show more videos to and uh, might even eventually be able to get monetized. And if we do that, then we can do all kinds of more stuff on here. I want to thank you all for all the support and uh, we'll see you on the next one.